So bar 14, 15 in violas, cellos, bass. Um, so what we're looking for here is this is this is the first, um, the, the, the second half of the of the opening um, theme, and it's still piano. Um, so we don't get a crescendo until bar 23 or 22, whatever it is. Um, so this is, violas, you've already been in piano. Um, cellos, you've been supporting that with your lovely bottom notes. So violas, you've got... through the next couple of bars, next few bars. Um, so although that's all piano, you've got you've got the interest in that. The first and seconds are going on the top, and you've got this. And and you'll hear the phrasing there. So it's to the it's to the bar line. Bom, 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 bom. Bom, 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 bom. And then the shadows have this wonderful. So that's a longer phrase, but it's all within piano. So again, as I've said, I would, I, I really think it's worth practicing this slowly. Um, let me set this to 104 again, which is the kind of slow practice tempo. And again, it's for bow control. If you can control it at this speed, you can control it at a faster speed and you'll be able to have much more exercise over the phrasing. disappearing towards the end. So again, I would say practice this slowly, work up the tempo. Um, so you know, four or five repetitions at slower tempos at least, and you will feel that the bow wants to run away with you. Um, if, if you let it, then you're not really learning to control that at the, the full tempo. So ensemble, the orchestra suffers a little bit from that sometimes. So, so really practice getting absolute precision. Um, and control over the bow in this, and it will give you much more control over both phrasing and also tone production, where if you want to use a little bit more bow on a note and, and without using vibrato to give it something a little bit of emphasis, you've got enough bow control that you've got that in your armory. So that's worth practicing in the lower parts.